Happy almost New Year. It was a, a year of uh, some interesting weather and climate extremes. And uh, one of the latest is this insane fire uh, out of the Boulder area of Colorado yesterday, and it actually showed up on radar. Yeah, these are the smoke plumes from that fire uh, showing up on radar. So that's significant if, if you have that much debris in the air. And this is part of the reason why they've had such a crazy fire season is the eastern and central half of Colorado has only seen about 5 to 10 percent of their normal precipitation for the last three months. So very dry there. We've got a little snow, a little moisture moving through our area today along the Arctic front. It's not gonna be a huge snow producer though, uh, because we're talking hundreds of an inch of water equivalent, uh, but it is gonna be a higher ratio of snow with the colder temperatures, but the best chance of seeing uh, more than a couple inches will be uh, to the west. So generally about a half inch to an inch in the Twin Cities. Maybe some spots on that one and a half inch range on the higher end of things. And it looks like that will set up uh, potentially across maybe some of the northern and northwestern suburbs have the potential for those slightly higher amounts. But again, we're talking about one to one and a half inches on the high end. So this is looking at the most likely scenarios uh, for the Twin Cities. But again, a half inch to 1.2 the reason it's that precise this is just looking at all the models, but on the high end, again, it could be uh, closer to that one and a half inch. It will be a fluffy stuff. And then comes the cold. We've got wind chill advisories and warnings. That's what we get. The snow, we talked about this all week. We're missing a big storm to our south, thanks to the cold. And just even looking at the satellite imagery, this looks cold. This is pure white, fresh snow across the prairie provinces of Canada and North Dakota, of course, not a lot of trees there. So it shows up whiter and a very cold area of high pressure sinking in. And again, that is pushing the snow and the moisture just to our south. So Iowa uh, into Illinois getting a big snow. We're talking around the Quad Cities, uh, maybe 10 to 12 inches of some snow here. And then they'll get the cold too, but uh, we miss out on really any significant snow. So here's just a closer view uh, basically uh, of Iowa into Illinois, even as close as Milwaukee could get several inches of snow, but it looks like Chicago and areas west, again, towards uh, southeastern Iowa will see the most. And this is probably gonna continue to be a pattern here over the next seven to 10 days, because as the cold sits over us, that really pushes the snow to the south. This is looking at total snowfall for the next week. And you can see the track just continues to be to our south and east. Unfortunately, if you're a snow lover, uh, the cold, the reason why it's here, the polar vortex kind of getting squeezed, not disrupted, but we've got this huge ridge of warmth uh, out across Siberia and Alaska, and that's kind of pushing a lobe of the polar vortex closer to us, keeping things cold. And uh, December was a mild month overall. This is looking at temperature anomalies for the last 30 days. You can see much of Minnesota warmer than normal, about two degrees warmer than normal in Twin Cities. But an interesting thing to watch here, uh, that cold in October started out uh, in the Siberian side, moved across Alaska in November, and now in the uh, Northwest here through the month of December. So there is a migration of that colder pattern towards us. This might be setting up the rest of the winter pattern where the cold is, coldest conditions will be to our West, but we'll be seeing some of that cold at least occasionally. Certainly Saturday morning, here's the low temperatures uh, near 10 below in the Twin Cities. Wind chills will be in the 20s below. And I know we got the winter classic. It's gonna be pretty cold. Uh, wind chills 15 to 20 below, still near 40 below in Western Minnesota. And then Sunday morning, coldest temperatures of this cold snap for us, probably lower teens below zero here, but uh, 20 to 30 below zero for northern and western Minnesota and those wind chills in the 20s and again to near 40 below in the northwestern part of the state. So hi today, you've seen it already. Temperatures will slowly drop and then uh, really drop quicker this evening behind the light snow. Again, about a fluffy half inch to an inch in the Twin Cities. Uh, by midnight, we'll already be close to zero. Wind chills will be near 15 to 20 below. So thankfully, we don't have an outdoor ball drop here. Uh, seven below tomorrow morning, barely above one, maybe. And then uh, some cold sunshine Sunday. Monday, though, already warming up. In fact, we could be near or above freezing Tuesday. That's the next chance of some snow showers. Doesn't look real significant at this point. We'll have to watch that. Again, the overall track will be to our south in our uh, relatively colder pattern, but... Uh, Anyway, I wish everybody a happy, healthy, and safe new year. 
Hey everyone, meteorologist Sven Sungard here. Please be sure to like this video, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this with others.